San Carlo le mortelle, creature che faccia bella, di coscassacocchi, lampi ed apatia negli occhi, occhi velati come il Cristo vero di Cappella San Severo. Venite o turisti a frotte, negli antri e nelle grotte, tra genti incolte e dotte. Napoli. Hello everyone, I'm uh, Sean uh, and you're watching Sort, my YouTube channel all about uh, sports and interesting topics. I'm going to start this video uh, from home, from my PC, uh, showing you the tomb of a diver in Pestum because it will serve to introduce our video. So, uh, the tomb of a diver is a small box coffin that was discovered in Pestum in the 60s and uh, it basically represents someone passing uh, from uh, the living world to the world of the afterlife and the passage is symbolized by this dive from a platform. What is most interesting to me is uh, the, uh, the remaining part of the coffin, which shows a symposium. So, a symposium was a party between uh, young people, and uh, here there are only males, so uh, these uh, people uh, were presumably gay. They were fondling each other, they were playing the lyre, they were reciting poems and playing cottabus, hitting one another with the dregs of a wine in their cups. Greek people used to see afterlife as the continuation of what one most enjoyed in the previous life. So this would have been the image accompanying the diver in the next life. Um, they were hoping he would have parties for the rest of eternity. Now that you know what a symposium is, we can finally move on to the actual video, which is going to be a visit to the Greek tombs that can be found underground in Rione Sanita in Naples. So, we're going to go down there and we're going to explore and observe how the tombs were actually built exactly like this painting. Our descent underground and back in time to visit the Greek tombs starts now. This is the god Pan and it was found digging in rubble just last year, 2021. <laughs> This first chamber was used by the relatives of the dead to visit, to pray, to offer sacrifices that they would throw through little slits and windows into the actual tomb, which was one level more underground. Thank you. 
so we can finally see how the tombs were actually beds complete with the soft cushions to host the dead. Medusa, which uh, actually means the jellyfish goddess, uh, not only warded off bad spirits, but she was also a good omen or a symbol of good luck. This room was uh, only prepared uh, but uh, not used by the Greeks, but then the Romans came along and they used them for their tombs. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to leave you with the sounds and the colors of springtime in Rione Sanità in Naples. Now,